What's up, people? You know what this means. It's time for redneck wheel alignment. That's right. But first, check it out. Ba bam. That's right, mofos. Uh, I put the seats in without you because it was dark. It was at night. It was last night, in fact. Uh, it's so hot out here, you guys. I can barely do anything. Uh, but, what do you think? Got the seats in. I got the steering wheel on. I got the dash going in. Um, yeah. So, real quick. It's not the subject of this video, but I want to show you something. I had to shave down the bolt. Still, it's still scraping, but I had to shave that bolt down. It's kind of like a stock one now, a little bit. Uh, the other side doesn't hit, this side does, but it, uh, it, it's tight down there. Look at that, it's like no room. So I should have made a video on it because actually I, you know, it turned out to be a success, but I had to, I had to shave the bolt head down, round it off. It works great, grade eight. I got grade eights in the front now. Um, and uh, we're good, man, we're good to go with the seats. So the only thing left to do is run the shoulder belts through, but I'm not sure I'm ready to do that. So, but looking good, interior is coming together. Looks kind of like a car now. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. And uh, again, this is not a how-to video. I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. What I've got is two jack stands, and I'm just copying this off a couple other people on the interwebs. And this is this is not to do an alignment. It's to get it close enough so that I can just drive it to the shop to get an alignment without, you know, the front tires like skipping all over the place because they're they're not aligned at all. So what we're gonna do, just pretty simple, we're gonna we're gonna run this line. I got my two jack stands. I could lower the car a little maybe, but I'm gonna get this, this line real tight. We're gonna line it up with the rear. So it's just, you know, barely touching. And then we're gonna get the steering wheel centered like it is now, I think. Yeah, pretty much centered. We're gonna get the steering wheel centered forward. We're gonna line up one of the wheels and then we're gonna do the same thing uh, on the other side with the other wheel, just the front. We're gonna keep everything the way it is. I think that's the way you wanna do it, right? Because there's no point in turning the stereo once. St turning the stereo? <laughs> that's what you eat for breakfast. Um, a big bowl of stereo. Anyway, see how this is like, this is not lined up right now. It's not touching there and it's touching here. So the first thing I have to do is line up this rear one. And I'm gonna get that like, I don't have to show you, right? You, you get it. I'm gonna line it up so it's barely touching the edge of the tire. And then I'm just gonna run it up front until it's, you know, just touching uh, this tire. And I can see right now that this tire is pointed slightly to the driver's side, slightly to the left. So anyway, I'm gonna fiddle around with that. And then of course we're gonna adjust it uh, with the uh, adjustments here, there, on there, and there. I'm gonna spin that sucker. Oh, I, got a, I got a whole insect situation down here. I should, uh, start another channel about biology anyway okay i'm gonna get at it and uh give you an update but that's kind of pretty much the meat of this video <laughs> i'll let you know how it turns out here's a little update so i got it uh i got the twine right up against the rear uh just touching and then what i discovered maybe some of you already know this is that uh i guess the rears are offset a little bit because i've got about an inch let's see yeah three quarters so i'm just going old school you guys i'm gonna literally 
do this. Bam, see? So the front, so it's a little pointed out, right? Because that's at like five, a little over five eighths. And this back here is pretty much on, right on three quarters. So, so I'm gonna bring the toe in a little bit. Uh, we're gonna adjust these tie rods with my three quarter inch wrench. And I, these tie rods are, I think they're also from Global West, I believe. So they're, they're nice because they just have one where is it? Is that gonna fit? Yeah, they just have one, you have to put, you can just put one wrench on it and give it a turn. Um, I think, do I have to loosen these? I might have to loosen these nuts on the ends. These nuts. Yeah, and then I, yeah, I do have to loosen those, which means I need a bigger wrench. Just to clarify, so ridiculous. I don't know why these nuts are not seven eighths but they're literally 15 sixteenths right there Just so weird at least this is the adjustment is a three quarter let me show you where we're at let me grab this ruler and uh i also want to explain why i don't get more work done in the summer and that's because it's too hot during the day and then when the sun goes down like it just did the mosquitoes come and try to attack me. So I'm using, uh, I mean, this is a useful tip, you guys. <laughs> I'm using knee pad, knee braces, like braces, running braces. And I put them like that, like old 70s leg warmers, and uh, the mosquitoes can't get through. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that. So where we're at right now is we're at. Uh, 11 sixteenths there and we're at same All right so I'm gonna double check this but I think this side is good and uh, hopefully I can just do the same thing on the other side and then I'm kind of done um, like I said I'm not doing a precision alignment uh, just to tidbit of info from a you know shade tree mechanic who looked through the man the manual is that uh the fronts actually i think they get i believe it's one eighth inch of outward toe no inward toe sorry outward toe inward toe, inward toe. they get one eighth inch uh i think and it has to be from the center point here in the middle of the tire. So I can't really do that in this situation. But you measure right from the center here. So lining up with the hub. And then to the other side, in the same spot across the car, you want about an eighth of an inch in, toe in, as opposed to the back of the tire in the same spot, right? Which is hard to do because the engine's in the way, uh, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Maybe the oil pan. Anyway, um, yeah, maybe I'll measure that while it's up in the air. But then it's going to it's gonna go down and hit the ground, and we're going to have camber, and it's going to change. But anyway, the point is, uh, when the car rolls, apparently, like you move forward, if you start with a little bit of toe in, like an eighth of an inch, then as, you, as the car rolls forward, it actually uh, pushes the, the front tires apart, like out. And so then it straightens out. Apparently, that's that's the theory. All right, so I'm gonna go over to the other side and my line's not hooked up yet. I'm just gonna hook this up and then align this wheel and I think we'll be good. I wanna show you guys something. And that is that this, the rear, is just, you know, barely touching. I mean, you can see it still wiggles, right? So it's like barely touching. But then here, it's a little farther because, check this out. Right? It's so far toe in, like this, this tire, you can see it, look at that. So I haven't touched the other side, I'm leaving the other side. So what I'm gonna do is go to, go under here and I'm just gonna put, uh, you know, 
I'm gonna put some toe out until this allows me to even just line up the back because I can't even line up the back right now because it's holding, this is hitting it. So I'm gonna go do that. I got my anti-mosquito fan going. I got the uh, front moved a little. I've got the line across the rear tire uh, lined up and and here's what I did and here's what I would recommend is that you keep uh, I don't know if I can show you uh, It's hard to see you keep a tiny tiny bit of space in there. So this this line is actually not touching um, the tire And it's easier to see if you look down like from this angle It's super close and the reason I recommend that you not have it touch is because you don't know how uh, you don't know how much it's touching or bending or anything. So if you keep it just like a, just a tiny bit off, like a millimeter, then you know it's straight. Uh, and you can kind of check it visually. And then up here, this is what we're looking at now. So what's interesting is this tire does not seem to be as, let me get the right. This tire doesn't seem to be as far out. Well, maybe it is. Let's see. The front, what do we got? Seven, or let's see, what is that? Eight, nine, ten, ten sixteenths. And then back here, yeah, not even a half. So, so I gotta bring the front, this side out a little bit. We'll do that and check it. All right, let's check it. Um, what I wanted to do was leave a tiny bit of toe in which means I need the front to be a little wider away from the twine. So that's nine sixteenths. And if we go back here, yep. So we're just, just a hair under eight sixteenths, about half inch, right? Pretty much on eight sixteenths. So that means I've got a sixteenth of an inch, at least on the outside of uh, inward toe, because the other side is perfectly flat. So I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna tighten this up. Is it perfect? No, but I don't think it's gonna give me any trouble just driving over, you know, putting over to the uh, mechanic to get this thing checked over and set up and get the alignment done professionally when that day comes, which is hopefully soon. So that's pretty much it on this video, you guys. Um, yeah, just a quick sort of just it's just a ch quick check for alignment. You know, maybe you could use a laser if you have one, but I feel like then you need chalk. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can add right now. Um, the only thing I noticed, which is a little interesting, is that this side is a little farther in than uh, the, the driver's side is like t uh, like an eighth of an inch. Uh farther in towards the center of the car than the passenger side or the rear is a little farther out i don't know but i'm not getting the same uh measurement here as i am on the other side this, this side uh the the line is a little farther out from the front so i don't know if that's because of the front or the back it doesn't really matter i'd say it's close enough for now so all right that's the video if you see anything on this that I did that's you know if you if you're watching this right after I posted this let's say within a week or two and you got any helpful tips for me uh leave them because I can certainly make adjustments at this point nothing's set in stone but uh it's going to need an alignment either way so thanks you guys see you later